What is the difference between investing, speculating, and gambling? We need to know this in order to have reasonable expectations when we buy an investment security such as stocks, bonds, gold, real estate. There was a fascinating paper by Dr. Kingsley Jones and he put some definitions to this to help us separate speculation, gambling, and investment. The paper was called Product Design and Financial Literacy. I'll link to it in the notes at the bottom of this video. What is an investment? It is a bet of prospective positive return with reasonable statistical reliability. That's Dr. Jones's definition. What does that mean? It means that the investment is expected to make money. And that's because usually there's an entity that issued the investment that used the proceeds for a productive purpose, a project. They invested in equipment or a new initiative, something that would generate cash flow and ultimately flow through the, the investor in the security. And so that's why there's a reasonable expectation of positive return, because there is a cash flow being generated by the investment. A speculation is a bet about which there is a viable disagreement on the sign of the return, according to Dr. Jones. In other words, will it be positive or negative? Examples include gold, currencies, and Bitcoin. Things that are speculative typically are also hoarded because their future return depends on what somebody is willing to pay for it down the road. And there's some complexity or disagreement on how to value that particular speculation. Usually because there isn't any cash flow. There, there's no cash flow with gold, no cash flow with Bitcoin, no cash flow with currency. So its value is dependent on investor opinion as opposed to an investment where there's some cash flow where you can come up with some reasonable expectations of return, which are typically positive. Now, a gamble is a bet of prospective negative return with reasonable statistical reliability. In other words, the expectation is you'll lose money. And, and that's exactly what gambling is. When you go to Las Vegas, the expectation is you'll lose money. The house will win. And why is that? Because there's some entertainment value. And if the house lost money, then, then gambling couldn't continue. The casino would go bankrupt. And so there's the expectation that you lose money, but people are willing to gamble because of the entertainment value. Now, what we have to be aware of and concerned about is investments that are really gambles. In other words, they're, they're clothed or they're explained as having a positive expected return or maybe even a speculative, but in reality, they have an expected negative return. And the primary investment I can think of are binary options. Binary options are securities in the form of contracts whose payout depends on whether the underlying asset, for instance, a company's stock, increases or decreases in value. Now, they differ from normal options because there's only two choices. You're either going to make money or you lose money. And typically they're set up as $100 per contract. Sometimes these contracts last only a matter of hours. And they're set up to have an expected negative return. And I don't have time in this video to explain exactly why, but if you go to my podcast, Money for the Rest of Us, episode 143, I go into a great deal of detail on how these contracts work and why they have an expected negative return. And so, and essentially, essentially they're gambles and we need to be aware of that. But now you know the definition. An investment has a positive expected return. A speculation, there's some disagreement on whether the return will be positive or negative. Speculations are typically things that are hoarded. And finally, gambles are things that have an expected negative return and people still gamble for the entertainment value. Hey, if you like this video and you want to get more of my podcast articles or videos and know when I put them out, sign up for my free insider's guide. You can do that at moneyfortherestofus.com on the homepage. It's a free weekly email. Or if you're a US, if you're based in the US, go ahead and text the word insider to the number 44222 and you'll get automatically signed up.